there's the ideal system and then there's what we have right now and what we can afford and what we're building. And as long as you go, I've always encouraged this. This thing should be a journey. This is a process. Most of us don't have the luxury of writing a check and buying all of our equipment, all of our theater seating, all of our Atmos speakers, all of our amplifiers, our processor, fancy projector, all this stuff at once. Mark Fox, good to see you, buddy. Uh, timber match, important for Atmos heights. So what he's talking about timbre matching is when all the speakers kind of have the same sound characteristic, you know? And so typically if you, like in my case, I've got JTR up front and then I've got clips in ceiling and I've got clips surrounds. Um, Jonathan, he's got identical speakers. Ryan has the same brand of speakers. Kyle, you have the same brand of speakers. <laughs> I just have the reflecting off the ceiling. I don't have the in okay. ceiling currently, but yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's all deaf tech. Okay. But so. it's all the same brand though. Yeah. yeah. So how important is timbre matching for your Atmos or your height speakers? I'm going to say, I'm going to say required. No optimal. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Um, yep. That's, I think that's a good answer. answer. Yeah. yeah. If, if you have your druthers and you can do it, then do it. And if you can't enjoy it sure. anyway. Yeah. And I think one of those things is, you know, there's the ideal system and then there's what we have right now and what we can afford and what we're building. And as long as you go, I've always encouraged this, this thing should be a journey. This is a process. Most of us don't have the luxury of writing a check and buying all of our equipment, all of our theater seating, all of our Atmos speakers, all of our amplifiers, our processor, fancy projector, all this stuff at once. And so I know even for me, I mean, my journey, I, I've got a video on my channel of my journey in my home theater. And it starts off really, really small, really simple. And just over the years, we've added more speakers. We added bigger subwoofers. We've added um, a 4K projector native. And so that's a process. And so maybe for you, having those height Atmo speakers, what you have is fine right now. Um, you know, and then as you're able to get yours timber matched um i i just always say like you said ideally you want it from at least the same brand because most speakers are going to have their own kind of characteristic sound they're going to have their own um i don't know if you want to call it a curve but basically just that their own signature and so if you try to match say for instance a let's just say a clip speaker with um, a martin logan speaker they use totally different tweeters so they're going to sound totally different. They use totally different drivers. Um, and so when things pan from your front to overhead to the rear, it may sound a little funky. The good thing is we've got room correction, which is going to listen for that. And it's going to try to EQ it as best as it can, but it may not be able to make a really smooth transition. So ideally, yeah, if you can timbre match, definitely go for it, but you may not be able to. 